the United States of America. I think it's powerful, beautiful to have a country where its citizens believe it's the best place in the world. America was built on hopes, belief, mindset. They have a vision. They are not there yet, but believe they're going to get there. America is one place where people try to come to, to find freedom. They criticize it, but they want to come in there. It's believed it's a place, the land of the brave. It means you have to be brave to be American. It's God's whole country. They infuse their nation with narratives, statements of empowerment. Americans, I say, are the least traveled in the developed world. Americans, most have not left the United States of America. But believe is the best place in the world. Most don't ever want to leave, but they believe is the best in the world. Students could be homeless in the United States, but they believe is the best in the world. They believe no matter what it is right now, it can be better because I'm Amer American, I'm in America. The rest of the world are dying to get there. What a powerful, powerful vision. America, the way people see it may not be real, but it has a vision that captures the imagination of its citizens and the rest of the world. And all this has happened because of messaging, because they've been able to infuse their country with the right message, right words that have filled all Americans, the young, the old, with a belief that they have a role to play to make the country great. Americans believe in their country. They believe it's the ultimate, but they have that belief that it is a place where you have to act to make it great. You have to do something, you have to build, you have to contribute. Don't ask what America can do for you, don't ask what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. This is the opposite in many other countries around the world, especially in the global south. In Africa, there are people, young people, who have declared to a United Nations study that they'd rather risk their lives to get out of Africa. They've never been to America too. They've never been to the West. They don't know what life is like there. But they believe it's better than where they are because of a message that has been sent. And what is powerful about the United States is they captured the media. They understood the value of selling a message and selling a culture. That's why I admire the United States of America, because the United States of America is about mindset and a beautiful, powerful mindset for nation building. I've never heard any Americans say, oh, it's so terrible in the United States. I'm going to have to leave the country and go somewhere else. I hear it in many countries in Africa, sadly, shamefully. And I say those too. Because, yes, migration is a human right. Everybody has a right to migrate. America is a country of migrants. The original people are the First Nations, which are the aboriginals. It's the same for Canada. But in that space, they've been able to build a belief in how they can make that place great and hopefully correct the injustices that has come with their migration into that, those countries. All I'm asking for is that we need those, that same mindset for countries that are naturally resourced and blessed, many of which are in Africa. It's all about the mindset. Believe me, no matter how much you, you want to struggle to get somewhere else, life, time, intelligence has been given to all of us equally. It's what we do with it. Americans believe in who they are and where they are. We need that around the world. Thank you.